Hello guys. Welcome back to our channel we're back with another video. In this video we're going to see about the crushing glass concrete. Before that, if you have not seen our video on glass concrete please watch it before this video. Link is on description or you can see on i button as well. Ok let's start this video. Repurposing glass for use in concrete mixtures has simply involved crushing and grinding the glass to a smaller size. Resizing alone doesn't bring glass processing far enough to create a functional raw material for the concrete industry. Rather than a re-engineered raw material you just end up with a resized material. Crushing is indeed the first step in the process of recycling glass. But, it can't be the last step if you're trying to create something new and innovative like turning waste glass into expanded glass. A previous video on using crushed waste glass in concrete. It pointed out the problem associated with this is alkali silica reaction, ASR. Alkalis, present in Portland cement, that encounter reactive aggregates initiate a chemical reaction that forms a gel. Add in a little moisture intrusion and the result is a bad day at the beach for the concrete as the gel expands when hydrated. Signs of ASR are only seen in compact concrete. With expanded glass as an admixture, you create porous concrete. In these enhanced concretes the swelling pressure caused by the ASR gels is dissipated through the pores. No hairline cracks, edge spalling, drops of gel or other peculiarities appear. Expanding glass is a process where crushed glass colored is upcycled on the particle size level and reformed into spherical aerated granules that don't contribute toward ASR. The material is stable and inert with a chemical composition containing around 71% silicon dioxide CO2. The process of converting waste glass into expanded glass also creates two additional raw materials. The process of expanding glass after learning how to expand clay for his family's precast concrete business in the Bavarian region of Germany in the 60s and 70s. Hans Veitden topped his game in the early 80s when he discovered how to expand glass. Subsequently, in 1983 he founded Pareva GmbH the largest producer of expanded glass aggregates worldwide. He still presides over the company today. Dennett's process begins with a very fine gradation of post-consumer recycled glass called colors. This unrefined soda lime glass arrives at the plant simply pulverized to fit into a certain particle size range. The glass is then dried and quickly sent to the ball mill where the glass is ground down to very fine flour, less than 36 microns. The glass flour is combined with a silicate binder and an expanding agent and blended into a viscous slurry. Next they granulate the slurry. For larger grain sizes above 1 mm, they use a granulating dish. Additional glass powder is added to the slurry to form a semi dry material which is applied to an inverted rotating dish. The slurry then rolls downhill like a snowball and forms into spherical shaped grains. Changing the inversion angle or the rotational speed can alter the size of the grains. Smaller sizes, the technology is not as simple. To make grain sizes below 1 mm, they use a spray dryer. It's a different process from the granulating dish but nets the same result. They then spray the slurry into a drying chamber, which consists of a four-story conical tower that provides a controlled environment for the slurry to cool and form into spheres. Along with kaolin clay that acts as a non-binding agent, the spheres enter a linear rotary kiln heated to more than 1400 degree Fahrenheit Fahrenheit they then expand 200% and begin to cool. The process of sieving and packaging the grains into seven different grain sizes ranging from 0.04 mm to 4 mm happens at this stage. During the heating process, the kaolin turns into metacoalin, a reactive postsilin, also called a supplementary cementitious material, SCM, that can replace ordinary Portland cement, OPC. 
a standard OPC replacement ratio is 15 to 20 percent by weight. The three raw materials created in the glass expansion process are expanded glass aggregates. This material is an ultra lightweight aggregate used to reduce density, insulate, R2 slash inch, and absorb sound. Glass flower, this material is processed to a particle size smaller than 36 microns. The flower becomes a reactive postcelin and replaces Portland cement. Metacoolin, this material is an SCM. It, too, is a reactive postcelin, the softest one on the scale. How to use expanded glass in concrete First match the particle size of your existing fine sand with the corresponding egg grain size. For face mixes, self-consolidating concrete and sprayable mixes, the egg grain size is typically 0.25 to 0.5 mm. For gravity cast mixes, architectural and structural precast, the egg grain size is typically 0.25 to 1 mm. If there are larger aggregates in the mix, you can replace some, or all of them, with grain size 1 to 2.5 mm. Finally, you must decide how much you're going to replace. The concrete's mechanical properties and performance requirements decides this ratio. Replacement by volume is key as expanded glass is nearly five times lighter than silica sand. Once you know your replacement ratio, you are ready to mix and cast. Expanded glass uptakes water at a rate of 20 to 30 percent mass. 100 pounds of dry egg will absorb 20 to 30 pounds of water. This is actually minimal absorption when you consider that 100 pounds of egg is 7 cubic feet, or 1 quarter yard, of material. Expanded glass works as an internal curing agent extending the dehydration time of concrete and dry mortar. This is due to the initial water absorption followed by a slow return of the mix water to the matrix from within the expanded glass granules. Mixing methods and uses The first method is to take 20% of the calculated mix water and prehydrate, or quench, the expanded glass with it. Absorption takes only a few seconds. Blending the egg with other aggregates happens at this stage, and the mixing process proceeds as usual. The second method is to run through the mixing process as usual and then introduce the prehydrated egg after the cement, sand, aggregates, water, and additives are all blended. This is the most common method in ready mix and structural precast concrete operations. By turning waste glass into expanded glass and using it as a sand and aggregate replacement, three distinct benefits can be obtained, performance benefits, including extreme density reduction, improved thermal and acoustic absorption values, protection from ASR, and lowering the E modulus which makes the concrete less brittle. Health benefits, including reducing crystalline silica content of the overall matrix since egg contains no crystalline silica. Using egg can help concrete product manufacturers conform to the new OSHA regulations regarding airborne crystalline silica. Environmental benefits Another benefit of turning waste glass into expanded glass is that expanded glass is 100% recycled content, a sustainable aggregate. Expanded glass helps products and projects earn lead points. Okay, this much of information is enough for today. Let me know your viewpoint by comment down below. If you found this video is informative then make sure to hit that like button. For more content like this make sure to tab on red subscribe button. We'll meet on another video like this, till then bye bye.